Hi everyone, it is Thursday, April 23rd, and first of all, I hope everyone is well. I have noticed that people are starting to sneeze a little bit more, including myself, um, as our plants are starting to bloom now in our yards. So just want to remind everyone to keep the social distancing going, and we'll talk a little more about face coverings as I progress with updates this afternoon. According to the Illinois Department of Public Health, we have 36,394 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the state of Illinois. That is throughout 96 of our 102 counties. We have had 1,688 deaths, and at the local level in Kankakee County, we have 310 confirmed cases of COVID-19 with 26 deaths and 66 recoveries. So again, people are recovering from the virus, but it's because of the measures that most of the community is taking to keep social distance, to wash their hands properly and frequently, and um, to, to cover their faces. I want to remind everyone again that Aunt Martha's in Kankakee, located at 1777 East Court Street, started COVID testing this week. So please take advantage of the opportunities for testing. They are conducting testing on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays from 8.30 a.m. until 2.30 p.m. You do need to call for an appointment, and that number is 877-692-8686. I think I've been very upfront with everyone, suspecting that the shelter-in-place order would probably not be released at the end of April. And as of today, our governor did announce that he was planning to extend the stay at home order through Saturday, May 30th. I know that many of you are very disappointed, including myself. Um, however, it's really important that we do this so that we can keep exposure to a minimal and we can save lives. And as, as this gets harder for us, as the days go on, think about the people that you care about and love that you are protecting them by sheltering in place. Some changes did occur under this new um, extension, and I'm just going to share a few of those. Um, everyone ages two and up will be required to wear a mask or a face covering in public um, where they cannot maintain a six foot social distance. And that's probably in response to what has been seen in the grocery store. So please, if you're age two or up, please cover your face. Essential businesses and manufacturers will be required to provide face coverings to all employees who are not able to maintain that six feet. So people that work in factories um, and they're on assembly lines and you know, conveyors and that type of thing are not always able to distance themselves. And so we wanna make sure that people are covering their faces. The governor did mention that he has secured more PPE for essential workers in our state. Greenhouses, garden centers, nurseries, and animal grooming services may reopen as essential businesses. Outdoor recreational activities such as fishing, boating, and golf will be permitted in groups of no more than two people. And the state parks will begin a phased-in reopening under guidance of the Illinois Department of Natural Resources, so you can reference their website for more information. I want to note that I understand this is tough, but the more that we comply and the more quickly that we do so, the sooner we will get back to having some sense of normal. Tomorrow, I'm going to be talking with Barbie Brewer Watson, our executive director of ECDA, regarding the CARES Act legislation. City of Kankakee has been allocated $345,000 and we'll have more updates about that tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in, be safe and be well.